Hey everyone, this is Kid of Heartlands Media. We are wrapping up the Poor People's Campaign uh, Moral Revival here at Stone Church. Uh, and today we are joined here with... Carolina Gaete from Blacks Together Organization. And essentially, what was the main purpose for your organization to come here and join this event? Um, we joined this event because it's, uh, we're an organization, membership organization based on the west side of Chicago. And uh, economic injustice is something that our community has been... You know, been in economic depression over 30 years, so this is not something new. And we have seen that the poor are become invisible, have been forgotten, have been silenced. So um, we always hear about the middle class, strengthening the middle class, but what happened to the poor, right? So for us, servicing a, a poor neighborhood and a poor community, um, we thought it was really important to be able to lift those voices and uh, give the capacity and the tools for the people to lead in their campaign, right? To, to have. It's not that people are voiceless, right? People have a voice. The thing is that people are, are silenced, right? So for us, it's hard, you know, I think this campaign really um, raises up those voices of the poor um, and has them lead in, in the campaign. So uh, here in Chicago, there's definitely a lot of gentrification that's happening. We're seeing uh, large real estate developers moving into low-income minority communities, displacing the people, all the while uh, their local elected officials are taking money or corporate donations uh, from these large real estate developers. So essentially, what is really necessary to build a coalition to keep the people there from being displaced and also at the same time, too, have proper representation uh, within their city, state, and federal government? Well, I think the structures are there, right, for it to happen, uh, for people to come up and buy our communities. Um, they're really pricing us out of our communities. First of all, you know, we have in Chicago for the next three years are supposed to be property taxes are rising, the water tax is rising, fees are rising, um, tax increment financing is taking away um, money from our taxing bodies to provide corporate welfare, right? So um, we see how um, the city's pricing poor people out you know, with the demolition of public housing, with uh, the increase, um, just making it so expensive for folks to live here, right? So we know that within the next three, four years, it's, it's going to be, um, property taxes are going to be so high, people are not going to be able to live here, right? So I don't know how many more people we're going to be losing. We've already lost 30% of the African-American community. Uh, um, more um, poor and economically disadvantaged people are moving out because we can no longer afford to live in this city. And what have the people uh, in your community said in regards to the possibility of being displaced or the fact that local elected officials aren't really representing them? What have they said to you? Well, and that's the problem, right? Um, we've, have, we've had to keep our elected officials accountable. I think um, because a lot of the times um, with poverty and in communities that are not resourced and disinvested in, um, there's a lot of hopelessness, right? And almost the sense of, like, what is it to be done? So it's really about reigniting and letting know people that the power, we hold the power, right? We give it away when we see the mayor and the elected officials as the power brokers. It's really how do we take back that power as a community and hold those elected officials accountable, make them scared, more scared of us, uh, his, their constituents, than of the mayor and these uh, developers, right? At what at, at one point do we be, uh, exert our political power? And real quick, uh, for our viewers and subscribers who are watching this interview, perhaps want to learn more about your organization and help out, where can they find you on social media? Uh, on, fa on Facebook with Blocks Together. Our website is uh, btchicago.org. Um, our, our email is blockstogether at gmail.com. We're located at 3711 West Chicago Avenue uh, in West Humble Park area. And we primarily do community organizing around economic justice, um, against privatization, and against the criminalization of youth of color. All right. Well, that's a great note to end it on. Thank you so much for joining Hardlands Media. Peace, everyone. Thank you. You're watching Hardlands Media.